I wasn't there long before I saw exactly how aggressive Max can actually be towards his mother. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Go. I was glad that somebody else was seeing what I go through on a daily basis. Please do not hit me with that. And it's very confusing for both Sarah and Max because there are no boundaries in place. Max wasn't the only one misbehaving. That little Claire can cause a storm as well when she doesn't get her own way. No, we're done. Done. Ow, ow, ow. And that's all Claire, you're going to have to get out of here. She should be recognising that Max's behaviour needs to be disciplined and so does Claire's. Southern Cali. Let's take a look at the family that need my help this week. Hi, we're the Manley family. I'm John Manley. I'm Sarah Manley. And we have two kids, Max, who is seven. It's my birthday. And Claire, who is four and a half. Sarah and I have been separate for about six months. Hello, monster. Since John moved out, things are difficult. We still do the same things that we did when we were together. We still spend every weekend together. We still have family dinner. They know that I leave every night, and they constantly ask me to stay over. Dad maintains the same lifestyle. He just doesn't sleep there. The kids have gotten a little more aggressive. <laughs> the bird, stop it! He slams her hand in the door. I think Max, for a while, has felt a little bit abandoned. I think. He's angry that John comes and goes. Oh. Max, I'm really starting to get irritated with you. Yeah, I'm starting to get irritated with you. I, don't, I think he feels like he's not being heard and his feelings aren't being acknowledged. I don't understand why you're so mad. Shut up! Shut up! If you stop... Ah. I hate you! John moving out has had a big impact on these kids. That's understandable. If you say no to Claire, she throws the biggest tantrum you've ever heard. She'll just go on and on and on until you give it to her. No candy. candy. No. Candy. I'm not doing much for discipline. I just tend to walk away. I have tried everything. Locked them in a room. Go to your room. They don't stay in time out. Nothing's been working so far. Stop being mean. Shut up. You guys haven't been behaving. So when you. Shh, shh. I do feel very much like I'm in limbo because I don't know whether he's going to leave completely and we're headed for divorce. I don't know if he's going to come home. I'm at an impasse. Do I stay? I don't know. I'm at a loss right now. It's not fair to Sarah. It's not fair to the kids. It's not fair to me. These adults need to make some decisions. They really do. Life can't stay the way it is right now. Super Nanny, if you can help us, we really need your help. Please come. Emotional times are unfortunately very common, but I'm going to get you and your family through this. Because Mom and Dad are already separated, I knew that going into this home was going to be very different and challenging than some of the other families I've dealt with. Hello. Pleased to meet you. I'm Joe. I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Come on in. This is Joe. This is Max. Oh, hi, Max. Pleased to meet you. How are you? Very good. And this is Claire. Hi. Pleased to meet you. I really want to observe the interaction between yourself and the kids, and obviously with John as well. Where is John? At work. He'll be home around four. All right. Brilliant. So. Do what you normally would do. I'm going to hang out and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Great. All right. Shortly thereafter, Max and Claire started acting the way that they do and showing their true colors. Get it, get it! I won't chase her. I won't chase her. Ah! Max, don't chase her. Ah! You need to respect the things that are in your house. <gasps> no, 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 no! Max, don't bite me. Come on, that hurts. I wasn't there long before I saw exactly how aggressive Max can actually be towards his mother. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Go. I was glad that somebody else was seeing what I go through on a daily basis. Please do not hit me with that. 
And it's very confusing for both Sarah and Max because there are no boundaries in place. Max wasn't the only one misbehaving. That little Claire can cause a storm as well when she doesn't get her own way. Yes, no, we're done. Done. Ow, ow, ow. ow. And that's how I see you. Claire. Ow. She should be recognising that Max's behaviour needs to be disciplined and so does Claire's. But she's not doing it. So explain this. This is time out. Is this what time out is? This is time out. Okay, and how does that work? It does. <laughs> After seeing Sarah's version of the time out, I knew when it came to teaching, I would have to teach her how to do it properly. Yeah. <laughs> Max was crying, and then Sarah started to cry. I mean, it's complete loss of what to do. It's breaking my heart. Just calm down, please. It was obvious that the separation was taking a serious emotional toll on every member of this family. After watching Max's behaviour, I really wanted to see whether he was aware of his own actions. So when he settled by the computer, I went over and had a word with him. Well, I've been acting up since my dad left the house. Oh, you have, have you? Why is that then? I actually don't know. The day he left, I asked him if he would tell me why he left, but he never did. Do you want to know? I really do. I don't know why he really left. Yeah, there's so many things going through his head. So many questions that he wants answers, and he's really very lost and confused right now. Let me show you something. Come with me. I wanted to talk to Max to find out exactly what it was like in the house before his dad left. If your mum and dad were in this living area here and they were arguing, where was you and your sister? Even if I was sleeping, I would normally wake up, go down where the argument was and stop it. Yeah. And, but it keeps happening every night, almost every night. Right. He's been caught in the crossfire of his parents arguing frantically. And my dad, yeah. he's not part of the family anymore. Oh, that, and how does that make you feel? I'm feeling a little, I'm not, I'm not feeling so good. What can I do here to help? What would you like can me you, to change? Can you, can you talk with my dad and try to get him, try to get him back? Because I really miss him. And I think I just felt a hairline fracture in my heart as he said that, and a big lump in my throat. Well, I can't promise you that Daddy's going to come back into the house. I, I can't promise that. That's something that Mummy and Daddy are going to have to talk. Yeah. But I know one thing. I know that Daddy loves you very, very much. Yeah. Can I give you a big hug? Because I'd like to give you a really big hug. After what turned out to be a really emotional morning, I thought it just would be best if we got outside the house. So I suggested, let's go and run an errand. Today would be great if we could go to the supermarket. Okay. That is usually someplace I dread going with them. We need to hold hands, please. Apparently, it's horrendous for mum, so I needed to see this. No cupcakes. No cupcakes. No, 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 no. Okay, nope. 
Max, no brownies. No, stop that. No, 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 no. Don't, that will fall. Okay. No. No, I told you no. It was a nightmare. Screaming, yelling. I was so embarrassed. No, 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 no. No. I don't even know where they are now. Hold on a minute. Your kids are gone. Yeah. We're in the supermarket and your kids are gone. They're gone. So so what are you doing? I'm looking for them. Get over here now. We got them from Claire. Okay. And then Claire decided to stamp her feet and kick. I want, I want, I want. Take them. No, they, no, no, Claire, no. they sat in the freezer for over a year. I like them. But I like them. You cannot like them now. I like them now. Every time we go to the market, she'll fixate on one thing and scream until I give it to her. Come on, pick something else. Oh, I like them now. So you can come down this aisle if you want. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can come down this aisle. It's just a child's having a meltdown, but feel free to get what you need to get if you're shopping. I found absolutely hilarious that these people were shopping and thinking, oh, don't go down aisle six, there's trouble down aisle six. No, you, you already picked the ice cream. It was a good experience to watch because I know that I'm going to be able to help Sarah change this. Come on, get in, both of you. Daddy! Hey, monsters. Dad walked in and the kids were so happy. <laughs> hi, pleased to meet you, Joe. Pleased to meet you. Hi. And he was very pleased to see myself and said hi and was very open and friendly. If we are going outside, then you need to wear your shoes, OK? He's fully committed, engaged in spending that time with the kids when he's back from work. He says hello to Sarah and it's kind of cordial, but he's there because he's there to see his kids. OK, here we go. One. The kids out back with Dad left me and Sarah in the house, so I thought I could have this chat about her circumstances with John. So he comes over at this time. Every wait, day. Every day at 4 o'clock. Every day at 4 o'clock. Yeah. They have dinner, he helps with the bath, helps put in bed, and then he goes. How long have you been doing that then? Eight months. So that's as long as you've been separate? Yeah. So you both decided to... No, he decided to. He decided. So he decided that he wanted a separation or that he needed to move out. What was, what's the story? He never communicated to me during the marriage how unhappy he was. I really didn't see it coming. I didn't know he was going to move out. And he moved out. Yeah. And then when I asked, you know, can we work on it? Um, he was like, I'll think about it. Is it something that you want to work on? Of course. So you still want to be married to John? Right. I still love him very much. I still respect him very much. I think he's a wonderful father, and I miss him terribly. You've seriously not spoke for eight months about how you move forward? I mean, for eight I've, months, he's been in a separate place. I've you, tried to I, talk to him about moving forward, but he is scared. To, he, he's comfortable where it is right now, because it's comfortable for him. Sarah was very open, talking about her relationship and the breakdown. But of course, there's two sides to every story. So I went out back to speak to John to find out some more. I had to walk away because I was at my wits end. I was angry more. I was more frustrated. I took it out on, on the kids more. And they're, they're the innocent victims in all this. Uh, I have loved them from the day that they were born uh, to this day now. My biggest fear is that I'm trying to not hurt them is the biggest challenge that I have. I was hoping to get a better explanation of why John had decided to move out, but quite frankly, I was still confused. It is important that he talks to Sarah about where he wants to be because she's walking on eggshells hoping. I'm gonna make a move then for the evening. Okay. And I really look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Me too, I really yeah. do. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. You know, it's really going to be a sensitive situation every day working with this family. I'll say goodnight and say thank you again. Thank you again. Thank You're you welcome. and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, John. Bye-bye. I've helped families in this situation and a few families have divorced. And a few families thought they wanted to divorce and they're still happily married. But honestly, 
I'm not too sure how things are going to pan out between John and Sarah. Let's start with Max. There is a lot of anger that he is repeatedly showing, and that's due to the fact that he is not having questions answered. Right. He wanted to know why you left, John, and, and he sits there and, and he says to me, I, I don't know. But he's frustrated and he, he's confused, and the impact of that is his behaviour. You know, the punching and the hitting, and he ends up picking on his sister and hurting her. Mm -hmm. And then he retaliates and he does that with a pair of you as well. It's not necessarily malicious. It is, it is intentionally to draw attention to him. He needs some direction and guidance with boundaries and he's not receiving that. Okay. Let's talk about Claire. Okay. She's realised that if she displays out of control behaviour, that it makes you fluster. She puts her foot down and she screams and she screams until she gets her own way. Right, she'll just keep going to where I just can't stand it anymore. So I give up and I give her what she wants. That behaviour very quickly could change, but you continue to support this behaviour. There are many issues that need to be resolved. Unfortunately, there is a very large elephant in the room and we're skirting around the elephant. I don't know, this whole limbo state is difficult on me and I think it's difficult on everyone. But regardless of what's happening in your own relationship at present, you're both committed in raising your children together. Absolutely. There's no shortage here of, of love and how you both feel about your children. <sighs> and I just want to try to establish stability for myself, for my children, for Sarah, but with little damage as possible. Obviously, there's going to be collateral damage if I choose to walk away from this family. Right now, these are tough times, okay? But it doesn't mean that we can't push through these tough times in making sure that we have lots of positive things in place that create stability, regardless of circumstances. So, we're ready to create that foundation, right? Yes. Are you ready to do that together? Yes, I'd like that. <laughs> Me too. We need to make decisions and we need to move on. So let's make some way. Thank you. I gave John and Sarah the night to think because I need to know what direction they're going in. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hiya because it determines what I'm going to teach this family. For eight months, you guys have chose to be in a place that's not progressed. Decisions have to be made now, so that at least you guys can move on, not just as individuals, but as parents. If I say, you know what, let's, let's drop the bomb right now, let's pull the trigger, let's move in our separate directions, that scares me to death because I don't want to hurt anybody. You know, I still love him though, and I would like to understand and realize what we had done and put it behind us and try to have the family, to have the joy, to have the love and respect that the reasons why we got married. I mean, I understand we both screwed it up and I take responsibility for a huge part of that, but I don't think you will make the choice to just let your guard down and to try. I don't feel that I can let my guard down now. This conversation is to establish what you both want. At this stage of the game, it's, it's, I think that the separation is the only thing that I go for. I, I'm, not, I'm not coming back as a husband. I can't. It's not working for me. You I'm don't not. want to work on things. The person that needs to work on me in regards to you is uh, John, 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 she's asked you a question. No. There. I can't fight anymore. If that's your decision, we have to split. I can't. Just... 
You don't want the relationship anymore. You don't want the marriage. Correct. I don't even know what to say. It's, just, it's very difficult for me because I had hope. Then what I see with regards to the work that I can do here is to really take you through that transition. We're gonna need a conversation with the kids. John and Sarah told me that they had decided to divorce and straight away, my thoughts were on the kids. No matter how hard this conversation is gonna be for the pair of them, they gotta tell the kids. You know that mommy and daddy love you very, 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 to the 10th power much, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. At this time, mommy and I are not going to stay married, but what we will stay forever and ever and ever are your mommy and daddy. We will never, ever leave you. There's nothing that's ever happened that has brought us to here has to do with you. Truth is, is that mommy and daddy have made that decision to live in their separate houses, but that you guys will have two homes. Do you remember when we were talking, Max? And you said there were a few things that you didn't know and you wanted to ask daddy some questions. Well, now you could ask daddy those questions. Hmm? Okay, what question do you have? Do you remember? You said you would tell me why you moved out and you never did since. Okay. Why. I moved out because I was trying to please everybody all the time. And you were. And I, I was, except one person, and that one person was me. I gave so much that I didn't have any more to give. John launched into this introspective conversation, but I knew the kids wouldn't understand. I mean, what they need from him is a conversation that's black and white. The reason why Daddy moved out is because Daddy got on better with Mummy when they were living in separate houses. Because when they're in the same house, it's not good, is it? No, they were fighting, and that's, that's not good for anybody. Today was the day that I faced my biggest fear and explained to Max and Claire that I was not coming back as a husband, but I will always be their father, their daddy. So what's important for mommy and daddy is that even though they're gonna be in different houses, they're going to be together with you both. I'm a little sad because my dad and mom are not together, but they still really love me a lot. And that was a tough conversation for both Sarah and John to have with their kids, but it was a lot lighter than how they thought it was going to turn out. It seemed to leave the kids in a very comfortable place about where they were going to be in the mix of it all. Ah, oh, big hugs, big family big hugs. Big family hugs, come on. <laughs> big family, big, big, big hugs and kisses. Yeah. Divorce is difficult, there's no two ways around it. But it's about parents creating that stability for their children regardless. And when I started teaching, that's exactly what I was gonna be showing the Manleys. Sarah and John! So there needed to be two schedules because these kids are going to be staying at their father's as well as at home with their mum. So as you can see, what we have here are, are kite schedules. One for this house and one for your place as well, John. What would be good is during the weekday to write down the schedule of what the kids do when they come home, OK? Because then we'll set that on your kite as well, Dad. Sameness is a beautiful thing because it lays down a carpet of stability for these children. Keeping a routine on a daily basis is key between both homes. We do a snack, homework. The schedule was a little bit tough for me. You know, it made it very, very official that we're separated and splitting the children between us. Max has to do 20 minutes of reading after homework. Do 20 minutes reading. But I'm glad that we were able to do it together without arguing and made me feel very good that we're on the same page. So, kids, we're gonna be going to Daddy's place, okay? setting up home there and making sure everything's nice and cosy. I think it's rule number one, that if as parents you have decided to separate and you have two homes, 
that it's important to very quickly get your children settled so they can feel secure and safe. There, all the way up, please. Going to his house made me realise that he didn't spend any time there at all. Very bare, certainly not cosy by any means. They have a lot of areas to run around, keep themselves occupied. He needs to create that hominess so that the children are able to really feel that it's their second home when they're with dad there. After all, it's not a bachelor pad, it's a family home. There's great stuff that you can do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely great stuff. Racks, so they can put their stuff in will be great. Desk for homework, you know, slapping on those spongy sticker things. Let's get busy. Dad had a lot to do to make his place more kid friendly, but I wanted to give him a little kickstart, so we've got a few little things to make his place more homey. Here's all my stuff. Where should I put this one? Um, right. I wanted to give him a little head start by putting some posters up and a little clock and some bed in just to make it familiar for the kids. Oh my gosh, this is so great! Those go on the mirror, I think. I like daddy toast. It's just a start, That's but a actually, start. it's a good start, yeah. It's a great start. Guys, what do you think of your bedroom? Do you think it looks more cosy? Yeah. yeah. It looks a lot better. After Max and Claire had settled in nicely at Dad's, the next step for me was to teach both Mum and Dad discipline so they would be on the same page. So we're going to take these chairs here okay. and we are purposely going to use these chairs for discipline. Okay. I taught Mum and Dad how to do a proper timeout, Giving them eye contact and giving them a warning. Okay. Okay. One minute per age of the child. When they've done their time, Tell them that you want an apology. Like, and no sooner had I taught Mum the timeouts. What's happening? Claire gave her an excellent opportunity to use it. Do you want this one or not? No, I don't want then this Then it's solved. If you don't want it, do not hit me. Then... Listen to me, Claire. <laughs> you're going in timeout. No, I'm not Put her on the chair and I explain. She's a little girl and she'll do as she's told. Don't tolerate this behaviour from her. I was thinking, oh my God, she's so angry. And the more I was putting her in time out, the more she got more angry. And <laughs> it was a little bit frightening. Walk away. Let's come over here. What I would like you to do is to go back in there, place her on her chair, and say nothing to her whatsoever, and go back to five minutes. <laughs> It was definitely a power struggle. It was definitely a battle. She did keep getting up, walk away. But Joe just kept telling me to walk away, and that's what I did. Mom did very well. She placed her back onto that chair. She was very firm with her. And then you panic, and you don't know how to control it at all, because you just I think she's off that chair. There was no playtime. It ended up working out. She eventually did it and sat there and did her time out. Claire, I want you to apologize to mommy Sorry. because you hit me. Sorry. Okay. I love you very much. Later on in the afternoon when dad had to leave, I wanted to teach mom a technique that would allow her to go shopping in peace. And I started by giving her green strips of paper that represented the aisles in her local supermarket. They will be responsible for placing what is necessary into your shopping cart. Okay. Now, as you can see, each strip has a little hole here. What you're going to do is put them onto your own mm. handy shopping bracelet. You're both going to get one, all right? So there you go. That is so cool. The idea of the grocery technique is to really help the kids get engaged. Mum writes a shopping list out. I want your ice cream. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Cheese. Yep. She's got bottled water. He's got soft drinks. Okay, so put it on your wrist. Let's go, let's get it done, okay? All right, let me get my purse. All right, let's get a big basket. Number one, bottled water. 
Aisle number one, let's find that one. Okay, Claire, we need big tomatoes, big head of lettuce, and a big orange, okay? You like that one? Where is lettuce, is it over there? Massive difference from what we first saw. I mean, we've gone from kids pushing over shopping carts or running off in the supermarket to today, them helping out mom and getting the job done, simple. Do you like being in charge of getting stuff? Yeah. The aisle game does make the um, grocery store less boring. We each get aisles at the grocery store. Oh, that feels fantastic. I am going away for a few days. I'm looking really forward to coming back and just seeing you guys build on the techniques. I'm a little apprehensive about going through this alone without Joe right behind me telling me what to do. Thank Take you. Take care, kids. You're welcome. I'll see you when I get back. Bye, Joe. Bye. Thanks again. Bye. See, Bye. You Bye. Joe. see you when I get back. You shall do. Bye-bye. Okay. After three days away, I was rather anxious to see how the parents were making it through this emotional transition and whether they were making progress as well. Okay, so without further ado, we are going to start to look at these clips and see how hard you guys have been working. Ah! Now, you're not allowed to talk to me like that, Max. You are in timeout. I'm out because I asked you to stay in your room and play in your room and not spread your toys out. And you back chatted me. Okay, can you apologize to me, please? Okay, go have fun and play in your room. Go on. I I've got to say, Sarah, absolutely beautiful. You gave a very strong warning, you followed through, you did the steps of the technique correct, you set the timer. You remained calm and composed, and you got the results there. I'm very proud. I'm really, really proud. Thank you. Let's move on to the next clip here. But I need this filled up. Okay, well, how filled do you want these filled? Full, half full, three quarters full? Well, they, what they need to do. Five eighths, one Happy. eighth, two thirds. Can you be more specific except fill them? No, actually, John, I can't. Yeah, okay. Well, why don't you bring the buckets over here and I can just fill them I'm up I'm going here. to. I'm just trying to figure this out, if you don't mind. Don't snap at me. I thought we had three of these. Why haven't you cleaned this up yet? You have all the time in the world. All of this stuff is going in your garage. Now that you have moved out, all the junk goes out and I can actually put my car in here. Because you put water balloons, put water in that because I won't explain it to you, but... Okay, where Why? Why won't you explain it to me? I'm obviously going to be alone where I'm going to need to do these water balloon things without a man around. You put the water in the bucket because it helps displace the weight of the balloon. The balloon is round. So they float instead of stacking on one another and breaking. That's brilliant. You're so smart. Oh dear, the two of you. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> oh my word. Sarcasm. Your sense of humor with one another. Oh dearie me. Please. Please. Unnecessary, really, right? Right. She started it. Being a pain in the backside to the pair of you. You guys are, you know, are moving forward in, in communicating with one another without hostility. Okay. And it creates an under tension, really. But if you see one of you being a pain, then you know, blow the whistle on it. Say, hey, you know what? Look, what's, what are we doing here? This is our son's birthday party. Things can turn sour pretty quickly if mm -hmm. we don't. So we'll leave our egos at the door. Okay. All right. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. I've seen some marvellous results here on discipline, but what I would like to see is more communication between the pair of you because you guys are in two separate homes and you've got two beautiful kids. And how you move forward in making those choices together in raising your children is what's going to raise these kids well-adjusted adults. Yeah. That's what we want. All right. So let's get cracking today with some more hard work and let's tie up some loose ends. All right. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay, thank you very much. John and Sarah have committed to going out on family outings even after their divorce. So we went on a trip to Santa Monica Pier to see exactly how they would get on. Okay, so let's stay focused on that. Let's enjoy the day today and let's have some fun. Okay, you want to have fun? We hadn't been at the pier long before Max started to play up and I was curious to see if Mum was going to step in and take control. Come on, let's go have fun. Let's go have fun. I don't know, he's all of a sudden decided he's going to be in a bad mood. Huh? Listen to me, this is a warning. Do you hear me? Don't do that to me. We've got a great day here. Let's continue on and see what else can happen, okay? I want you to know. Max, because that behavior yeah. is totally unacceptable. You getting angry right now is completely unacceptable. Give I'm giving you a warning. If you continue, I'm going to put you in timeout right now. Snap out of it. Let's have fun. Mum jumped straight in there and let Max know that she wasn't going to stand for this. And he knew she meant business and he cleaned up his act. What are we doing next? What are we doing next? What did you want to do? You want to break plates? <laughs> I would like to break some plates, I think. Right, well, well, me and Max go and break, break some plates. plates. Can I do it too? If they misbehave, they will be in a timeout at an amusement park or in the market or, you know, anywhere. You would have dealt with that, snap them out of it, which is great, you know? And as soon as they started, you nipped it in the bud. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm not breaking plates. I don't, I don't you want to break plates? I don't need to. I don't need to break plates. I realised that John wasn't participating very much. So later on, when we were down by the beach, I encouraged him to have some fun with his son. Sod the shorts. Jump into his world. He's running to the waves and he's running away. Jump into his world. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Happy, I, want to do it again. I saw the connection that he had with me and he enjoyed that experience when I was in the water next to him. And it was one of those days that I wish it would last longer because these moments were going so well. Oh, it's so cold. Max was able to have a lot of fun with his dad because John chose to let his hair down and have some fun. This water is cold. So am I. When we went to the pier, it was really, really fun. It was fun because we were all together as a family. Whoa, big wave, big wave, big wave. Big wave. It was only through Joe's inspiration and prodding that uh, I was able to have that memory that I will keep for a very long time. Towels are in the car. OK. So I am going now. They will inspire other parents who are in this difficult circumstance to push through like they've done as well. But I was very pleased to see you be very, very well behaved in the supermarket. Bye, Joe. <laughs> bye, bye, darling. Joe made my family a better family. I'm really glad that Joe came. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, okay? Yeah. I know that, given the tools that we have been given, that Sarah and I will apply the practices, and that this experience it will be with us the rest of our lives. Sarah. <laughs> I am very grateful for this experience. Keep up with that marvelous work. Hey guys, Seriously, you should you be very out. proud of yourself. I am. Very proud of yourself. It's amazing. Amazing. Brief. The Manly family are going to have their own emotional roller coaster to ride, but I've certainly given them tools to help them progress forward so that they build a better life for themselves and for their children. Mm -hmm.